Now, we are going to see divisibility of numbers, that is divisibility by 4 and 8. But first we are going to see divisibility by 4, next we are going to see divisibility by 8. Okay, a number with 3 are, this is divisibility by 4, okay. That is divisibility by 4. A number with 3 are more digit is divisible by 4. If the number formed by its last two digit is divisible by 4, the entire number is divisible by 4. So that means what is the explanation? So uh, you take any kind, any number, that means whether the number is, but you should take a number, but the number is more than uh, three digit, okay, more than three digit, three digit or more than three digit you can take, okay, and take any number, but the number is three digit or more than three digit number you have to take. And what you are going to do, whether the number is divisible by what, divisible by four or not, what is the rule? So you have to take the last two digit, you just take the last two digit. So whether the last two digit is divisible by three or not, first you have to find out if the last two digit is divisible by three, the entire number, that means the three digit number or more than three digit number, whatever you take, the entire number is divisible by three. That is the rule as given. Okay, so first one that is 572 as I told you already a number with 3 are more digit, 3 are more digit that is this is 3 digit otherwise you can take what more than 3 digit number. This is the more than 3 digit number. So how many digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this is a 6 digit number. This is a what 3 digit number. So but you have to take the last 2 digit number whether it is divisible by 4 or not. If the last two digit is divisible by 4, the entire number, the given number, whatever you take, whether it is a 3 digit or more than 3 digit number is entirely divisible by 4. That is rule as given. Okay, let's start the sum. Okay, the number formed by last two digit, the number formed by last two digit, that is, what is the number? 1 tens and 100, 572, 1s and tens and 100. So you have to take the last two digit that is ones and tens you have to take 72 is divisible by 4 or not you have to do the normal division 72 is divisible by 4 so 1 4 is a 4 so the 72 is a what dividend and 4 is a divisor so 7 uh, is divided by 4 so you must say the 4 table 4 ones are 4 you have to write 4 here 7 minus 4 you can get 3 then after that the next number next digit you have to bring down that is 3 is not enough to what first you have to subtract from 7 to 4 you can get 3 3 is not enough to subtract sorry 3 is not enough to divide so you have to bring down the next digit that is 3 2 that is 32 now 32 is enough to what divide by 4 so you must use the 4 table 4 8s are 32 so 32 minus 32 we can get 0 so reminder is 0 and quotient is what 80 so if the reminder is 0 mean that enter, that is the two digit number what are the number you have taken 72 is divided by 4 is divisible by 4 so 72 72 therefore 72 is divisible divisible by 4 therefore so 572 is divisible by 4 because what is the rule that three digit number is 572 so whether the number is divisible by 4 or not you have to find out so you have to take the last two digit that is 72 is divisible by 4 or not first you have to find out so 72 whether the 72 is divisible by 4 that means the entire number the given number whatever you take that is 572 is also divisible by 4 that is the rule of the divisibility by 4. Now we are going to do the second sum. So this is a 6 digit number that is what is this 1 tens 100,000 10,000 lakhs 7 lakhs 26,520 sorry 7 lakhs 26,352 I am sorry I will repeat once again 7 lakhs 26,352 this is a 6 digit number this is more than 3 digit number. Okay, but you have to take the last two digit again 52. What is the number is given? 52. First we have seen 72, here 52. Divisibility by 4. So 52 is the last two digit. The numbers formed by last two digit is nothing but 52. 52 is divisible by 4 or not. First you have to find out. So 52 is divisible by 4 means first 5 is divided by 4. So 4 ones are 4. 
5 minus 4 you can get 1. So 1 is not enough to divide. So you have to bring down the 2. Now it is 12. 12 is divided by 4. So 4 threes are 12. 12 minus 12 you can get 0. That means quotient is 13 and remainder is 0. So 52 is divisible by 4. Therefore 70 what 7 lakhs 26,352 is also divisible by 4. This is the what explanation of the question i think so you understand the question so i'll repeat once again the just uh, simple form so the divisibility by 4 we are going to see sorry we have seen already so divisibility 4 divisibility by 4 means nothing but uh, then you have to take three digit number or more than three digit number whatever the number you have taken but first you have to take three digit number or else more than three digit number you have to take so but you have to take the three digit three digit or more than three digit number means what you're going to do you have to take the last two digit last two digit only you have to take that number is divisible by four or not first you have to find out if if the number is divisible by four the three digit number what are the number you have take the three digit number is if entire three digit number is divisible by four or more than three digit number means the same rule the last two digit is divisible by four means the entire what more than three digit number is divisible by four that is the rule I explain with the problem. So first I have taken the three digit number. Next I have taken the what uh, six digit number that is more than three digit number. So only I have taken the last two digit here that is 72 here 52. So 72 is divisible by 4. So 572 is divisible by 4. Here last two digit is 52. 52 is divisible by 4. So the entire number that is six digit number 7,26,352 is also divisible by 4. So I think I think so you understand the rule of divisibility divisibility by 4